Hi everybody! If you've seen some of my recent videos, you might have seen that I've recently opened an Etsy shop to sell some of my illustrations in the form of greetings cards and art prints. I've decided to do some Christmassy designs because I'd like to make some Christmas cards to pop onto my Etsy stall and also to sell at the Christmas fair that I'll be attending at the end of November. I decided to do four different designs so that I could sell them in a pack of four and each design is slightly different but they follow the same theme. So I've created these illustrations digitally using the Procreate app. I do enjoy painting and doing watercolours and oils as well but I also really love digital illustration. So I've been printing on this Marat 230 grams archival matte paper and I've chosen it because of the way that it prints with really beautiful colours that match my original illustrations and also because of its lovely chalky finish. These strips are actually off cuts from when I've printed previous cards. I'm hoping that they might be big enough to go through the printer so that I can make some bookmarks but I'm not sure. I'll show you in a future video if I do manage to make some bookmarks. I always make sure that I pop my lid back on my paper and keep it safely stored so that it doesn't get damaged. And I am absolutely loving having this desk because there is a drawer for everything. So my first job whenever I'm printing my greetings cards is to trim the paper to size because I print my cards as square cards and they measure 14cm by 14cm. You have to make sure that you keep this card the correct way up because you can only print on one side of it. The printer that I use is a Canon Pixma IP8750. I really love the print quality that I've achieved so far but it does always depend on the paper type and also the settings on my computer. So I start by sending my illustration over to my computer where I've already made a template that I can pop my design onto. So you might see that there are some guidelines on this template and I put the guidelines there to make sure that I have a white border around the image and to make sure that the image is positioned centrally when it prints onto the card. I've also got a space for putting the title of my illustration and a little bit of information about my little mouse's house Etsy shop. I'll pop the link in my description below if you want to visit the shop. So this was the first time I'd printed this illustration and I was really pleased with how the colours had turned out in comparison to the original digital illustration. What do you think? So my next task was to print each of the other designs. So these are the cards before they're scored down the middle. I'm so pleased with the print quality. The process of making the cards is really important to me because obviously it's a digital illustration so it's taken me time to, to do the illustration itself but once it is finished I like to really take a lot of care and pride as I make each individual card so I enjoy folding each one and I enjoy making sure that the quality is perfect for each one.
and this is how the final cards look. So we've got the rabbit in the winter snow. And here is my deer in the winter snow. Each card's blank inside so that you can write your own message. This is my fox in the winter snow. Again, blank inside. And then my last card is the owl in the winter snow. The fox and the owl illustrations are actually illustrations I did quite a long time ago for a story that I wrote, but I never used them. And what I've done is used the illustrations of the animals, but created a new background and a new foreground. It's nice to see those illustrations being used. So as well as the greetings cards, I've also got slightly larger versions where it's got a moon in the background as well. And I print those on A4. Again, they're on the same type of card because it's got such a beautiful finish. And I have put these up on my Etsy shop so that they are for sale as well as the greetings cards. Of course the greetings cards are quite nice to be framed too if you wanted to keep them as a print instead of a card. Which design do you like best? Do you like the rabbit, the fox, the owl or the reindeer? Thanks so much for watching, I'd love to hear what you think of my Christmas cards and I will pop a link to my Etsy shop in the description below if you'd like to visit. See you next time!